Hello. This is a vlog for the Gulf War. And for the two people who watched the previous vlogs, yeah, I had Miss Random 2013, aka Julie, aka my best friend, helping me with these vlogs and we would talk about them together and stuff. We couldn't get together this time. Why couldn't we? Because I don't plan things well. So, yeah, this one is gonna go solo. Hopefully, maybe we can do another vlog for, with us together on this episode. Or we might just leave it at this. Have it just be me. Who knows? Uh, but, yeah, you're here now, so... You're gonna wanna hear about the Gulf War. Uh, although, I, I am gonna have to... I'm not sure how many times I'm gonna be able to have her in these. Because we have to get together literally every Monday or Tuesday. And her house is the only one with the Disney Channel, because... I, I, uh, yeah, I don't get Disney, which sucks. But her house is the only one with Disney Channel, let alone Disney XD. So it would have to be going over to her house every week, and I'm not sure how her parents would feel about that. Yada yada yada. Uh, let's just talk about the Gulf War. This episode was great. Oh gosh, this uh, this was hilarious. Okay, for those of you who only watch Gravity Falls for the secrets. You're not going to care about this episode, except for the picture at the end, which they flash in every episode, and that, yeah, there's that. Other than that, you're not going to care. This is a very, let's sit back and have some fun, which is what I thought they should do. Uh, we were talking about that, actually, in the previous vlogs, though you probably didn't watch it, because nobody watches those. But, um, yeah. So we were talking about how next episode they should just calm down, cool off, it's not that big of a deal, just... Okay, we've had a lot of stuff going on. Let's just sit back and have some fun. That is exactly what they did here. And they did it really well. And they humanized Pacifica, which was really awesome. Well, they, only, they didn't fully humanize her. But if they had done that, it would have been overblown. It was very subtle. Very subtle the way they did it. And I thought that was awesome. So, yeah, I keep moving the camera. Apologies. So, um... Okay, let's start off. How does this episode go? Well, yeah, we didn't do that the last two vlogs. We just were like, how did we like this episode? We talked about what we liked. Uh, I'm gonna actually talk about what happened. Okay, so uh, we open in the shack and they're all watching TV and it's awesome. And it's, there are some pretty funny lines. Stan cakes. <laughs> I really did like that gag. Okay, and then somehow the conversation moves to let's go golfing because mini golfing because mabel's really good at mini golf and yeah uh actually there's one line in there i really did like it wasn't funny or anything it was just like dipper was saying it, it's been a stressful couple of days let's let's go mini golfing or something along those lines i didn't say it right but <laughs> i really did like that line mainly because that's that was just kind of pointing to the audience and saying we get ya let's just sit back and have some fun and i like that because it has been stressful. It has been very... There has been a lot of mystery going on. And I think that's kind of what I didn't like as much about the past two episodes. It was really focused on mystery, which took the fun aspect out of the show. It was just very... There was stuff going on. Drama. And it was just like, okay, that's good. I like the drama. Really, I do. It's just not quite as fun. Which was strange, because uh, my favorite episode is Gideon Rises, and that one was full of drama, but regardless, it just felt a little overbearing at times. I don't know. I really don't know. But, um, yeah. Not to say I didn't like them. They were good. Which reminds me, uh, I did an 8.5 for Into the Bunker during that vlog. You probably didn't watch it. Nobody watches those. Nobody watches this. What uh, I don't know what I'm doing. But I said it was 8.5. I am now raising that up to a 9 because upon rewatch, Into the Bunker is a good episode. Oh my gosh, it is good. Okay. I really do like it though, and everybody else really likes it because it just is good. I gotta keep my head in frame. Okay, so yeah, they're off to the mini golf, and Abel's mini golfing, and she almost beats her high score, but then she doesn't when it goes through the windmill. And. Then Pacifica comes in, and she's golfing, and she beats Mabel's score. 
Yeah, and so she's all, they, they are butting heads, and then one of them challenges the other to a mini golf competition. Uh, actually, there was one line in particular, I wrote it down. Mabel's getting really upset at Pacifica, and she calls her, <clears throat> and I quote, walking one-dimensional bleach blonde valley girl stereotype. That was the best line of the episode. So good, I paused it to write it down. Oh, man. It was... I love that line. It's like, they read all the Gravity Falls series reviews, and they're like... Yeah, just, uh, copy-paste the script. There you go. <laughs> it was really funny just hearing that. It's like, that's pretty much every fan's complaint right there. <laughs> I like how they were kind of subtly making fun of that. Uh, okay, if you're not a part of the fandom, you might be a little confused, but, uh, the super reviewers of Gravity Falls have always been like, if there was one flaw, I, it was either they would point out that Wendy isn't in it enough, and that Pacifica, the arch nemesis, is very stereotypical. And I like how they have poked fun at those two in the first three episodes. Like, they realize what people wanted. Alright, they're gonna get to it. They're gonna, they're gonna change that because they know it was some weak writing. And I really like that. I really like how they're just diving into any, any kind of nitpick you could find from the past season. Boom. There you go. They're gonna fix it. I, I like that. And I like that they've tackled it so soon. They tackled the Wendy problem in episode two, and now they've, they've gone to the Pacifica problem in this. I just, I really do think it's great. And, yes, Nathan Fillion is in this episode. He's barely in it, but he's in it. And uh, I really hope he's in another episode because he gets, like, maybe three lines. Ah. But Patton Oswalt was in this. And that was... He did a really good job. Though I could have sworn he sounded so much like Alex Hirsch. Like, he's... The, okay, Little Puttians. Uh, okay, I'll bring that up later. Uh, he voiced one of them. And I could have sworn it was one of the gnomes. It sounded like one of the gnomes. I don't know if it's just me, but it sounded like the gnome that Alex Hirsch voiced. So, we move on. Uh, where was I? Okay, so they're challenging each other. Uh, <laughs> they break in at night. It was... And there was this one moment before they broke in where Stan was like, Hey, maybe we'll wait. And then he gave her a sticker. <laughs> the sticker that will be a plot device later on, but still... He was like, go get him, kid. And it was the sweetest moment. I, I really liked that. It was very subtle and just kind of in there. They didn't really hammer it in. But it was just a really sweet moment. And Alex Hirsch did a good job with the line. I keep saying that Alex Hirsch is doing good. But he, he's a good voice actor. Gosh, he's no Seth MacFarlane, guys. He knows what he's doing. And, um, that was mean. I can feel the dislikes just coming at me for... Oh, not Seth MacFarlane! Sorry. Uh, sorry, I'm just not a big... This is Gravity Falls, not Seth MacFarlane. Okay, so we move on from that, and they meet the little... Because Mabel's practicing for the round. And then they meet the little Puddians, and it's better written down. That's hard to pronounce. And uh, so they're all... All of the different um, courses are at war with each other, like the pirate course and the uh, windmill course. They're all at odds with each other and they've all been fighting this war. And yeah, they see her sticker, which says you are a winner or something, something like that. I can't remember what the sticker said. I'm terrible, but um, yeah. Uh, <sighs> okay, so they see the sticker and they're like, okay, award one of us the sticker and so we'll finally know who's the best course, because that's what they're fighting over, who's the best course. And so Mabel's like, yeah, but as long as you help me win against Pacifica, as long as you help me beat her, and whichever course helps me beat her the best, we'll get the sticker. So they're going, uh, Pacifica comes, there's three lines from Nathan Fillion. <sighs> this Firefly fan is very disappointed. I wanted more Nathan Fillion. I say, if I want Nathan Fillion, I'll go watch Castle. But, I move on. So, yeah, they're going, and the little puttyans are helping her win, and help, making it so Pacifica loses. And, 
there's this one scene. It is the strangest, most emotional thing I've ever seen. It comes out of nowhere. Okay, so they're at the mining themed course. And it was so emotionally strange and odd. And okay, so they gotta get it through, right? They gotta get the golf ball up so it goes out. And apparently there are, there was a gas leak and there are a bunch of fumes and if anybody goes in there, it'll kill them. And they're all like, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We gotta help Mabel. And this big gigantic little putty and he's like, I'll do it. And this little girl is like, no, you don't have to. And he's like, I must. And then he goes and he gets there and he, he pushes it through. And then he falls over. He gets this little piece of paper out of his pocket. He looks at it. It's a drawing of him and the little girl. Obviously, the little girl drew it. Tears come out of his eyes and then he dies. I don't even know anymore. The show is the best. Okay. That was the most emotional, awesome thing. I mean, it just kind of comes out of nowhere. But it's really... Wow. It, it took me by surprise. And, okay. After that, uh, Pacific Fears is something going on. Well, first, Mabel uh, congratulates uh, the... This is like 11... Oh, this is like practically 12 minutes. This is ridiculous. Okay, so... Yeah, th she favors the miners, and this other group gets really upset, so they're like, what's better than beating Pacifica? Destroying Pacifica! And so they try to kill her. Literally try to kill her. How is this rated TVY7? I don't understand. But, yeah. So, Mabel goes over and rescues Pacifica, and then they're fighting off the little puttians because she chewed up the sticker, and now they're like, we must get it out of her! And they're gonna, like, stab her and, and just reach in and get it out of her, which is disgusting. And so they're fighting them off, and Mabel save Pacifica. And then they get out through this really cool chase scene. And, and then they drive Pacifica home. And the scene in the car is awesome. Just awesome. And... It's really sweet, and I won't go into more detail than that, because I don't really want to spoil it for those who haven't seen, though. If you haven't seen, why are you watching this? Uh, and then, yeah. Uh, the driver home, there are a couple really funny gags, and then there's the end credit scene. I won't spoil it, but it's really funny! It made me laugh really hard, it was hilarious! It was a, that's how you do a running gag. It's barely a running gag. But they did it really well. Uh, so that's the Gulf War. And that was really good. It It's not like the past two episodes where there's a lot of mystery and a lot of suspense and drama. It's very lighthearted. But at the same time, it strikes an emotional chord because of Mabel and Pacifica. And that was really great. And I really liked that about it. I really liked how they approached the situation without completely resolving it. They're not just best friends now. But they don't completely hate each other, and it's a step forward. That's smart writing. Sometimes they'll do it as they're bitter enemies, but they end up best friends in the end. I hate when they do that, because that's just unrealistic. You're not all of a sudden going to be best friends. Sure, you might slowly make it better. You might slowly become better friends and hate each other less. But there's no way you're going to automatically become best friends. And they don't. It's just a very small step in the right direction. And I really like how subtle that is. And the way they handle it is just great. The way they build Pacifica's character is good. It's not this huge, oh, this is why she's a bully. It's subtle. It's really subtle. Like, My Little Pony had this one episode. Yeah, I watched that. Yes, I'm a brony. F female brony. Whatever. Um, not a, not a big fan of My Little Pony, but I do like it. And... Yeah, it was, there was this one episode where they had this bully thing, and there was this huge backstory, like, oh, she got bullied back in wherever she's from, and that's why she's bullying us now. Th that's not a very good lesson for kids. That's just not how it works. It's not that simple. It can be a lot more complicated than that, and it's hard to tackle that subject. And the fact that a kid's show actually 
really tackled it well because they did hear. It wasn't this huge, this is why she's so mean. It was just, she has crummy parents. She's spoiled beyond spoiled. She's, she's never really had a, a real role model. She's never had anybody to teach her what's right. And the way they kind of just, it's very subtle, but it's just done really well. And I really like the way they did that. So, yeah, that's the Gulf War. How do I rate it? Honestly, I want to rate it a 9, but at the same time I'm thinking, is this as good as Into the Bunker? I don't know. Uh, not as good, but very close to being good. So I would give this an 8.9 out of 10. It's it's very, very good and fun and lighthearted. I really enjoy it, and I think a lot of people are going to enjoy it. It's one of those episodes where it's obviously filler. You just gotta fill up the time. That's the thing about Gravity Falls. It does its filler really, really well. And then it does its big climactic episodes really, really well. Meaning, you're rarely ever gonna find a bad episode in this show. In fact, I haven't really found a bad episode. No, I didn't like Scarioki much, but I still really enjoy it and I would watch it again. So I have to say, 8.9 out of 10. It's a, it's a good way to do filler. This is how you do filler. Character buildup. You have big climactic showdowns, but you also have character development. That character development is put into the filler, that way the filler isn't a waste of time. That is how you do television. And it means something, because it's, it's, it's a great showcase of the overarching narrative. Because this is going to mean something later. They're not bitter enemies anymore. Sure, they might not still... They're not friends, but they don't completely hate each other. They're not really arch enemies anymore. They're making progress, which means this episode is important. Which means any episode with character development is important. That's something Firefly did really well. It made it so that each episode was important. There was some bit of character development in there. This is what the, this is what Gravity Falls does. It puts character development into each of its filler episodes, making the filler episodes important. That's how you do filler. And I'm really glad they do that. Because it's... Uh, uh, some shows have really bad filler episodes. Uh, something, something a lot of shows get wrong. They just can't do filler so that it's really good. This show does really good filler, and I love that. And it does really good climactic episodes, and it just does really good episodes in general. And I'm going on way too long, so I'm with 20 minutes. All of our vlogs are going to be this long, I can tell. Okay, 8.9 out of 10. This episode is good. <sighs> what more can I say? Go watch it, man! This is a perfect showcase of well-done filler. It was fun. It was funny. And it was heartwarming at strange times. It was a good showcase of how to make filler. Gravity Falls is good at it, and I can't wait to see the next episode, whatever it is, because I can't figure out what the next episode is. To the internet! That's my cutaway.